Okay, folks, so I just want to share a couple of these time-lapse video clips once again. This one I had already uploaded, but I got one from the 10th as well. That's pretty curious. I want to share with y'all. But I just, I have another little theory on what I think was causing what looks like these pulses in the sky. And now this original video I had taken and exposed it. So this is, you know, exposed a little bit to show some of these waves and this activity going on here. And if you notice down here on the lower left corner, it starts to look really intense, like a red kind of appears down in here. And the camera is aimed towards the north of our location here from Southern Nevada, okay? And now there's a facility up in this direction into the direct northwest of our location. And it just happens to be hard, okay? We're down here in Southern Nevada, okay? And the camera is aimed looking to the north of our location. And what do you have right over here? You know, I can't help but put, you know, the two together and think that, you know, these waves and this activity that I'm seeing here in these time-lapse videos and in the Star Trail video from the 5th, which shows what looks like, you know, some pulsing going on there. I'm, I gotta wonder if it isn't coming from heart. If that isn't heart resonance, that's heart signals going on there. And now something else that's really curious is um, this Star Trail video from the 10th, okay? And this is the, one of the frames from it. And this is the original video. Yes, right here. This is the original video. It's really fast. I put it into the editing program and I slowed it down and then I took a still frame. But you can see here, this is from the 10th, from May 10th, when everybody was seeing all of those bright lights in the sky and everything was going on out there. Um, this was a Star Trail video that I set looking to the north. That's Polaris right there. So it was kind of looking to the northwest of our location. And in this video here, I slowed it down a little bit. And you can see something puts these lights out. Several of these lights in the sky, you can see there's a disruption there. Something put them out. And it's not all of them, because if you look on the outer bands, you can see there was a disruption at a different time frame, but these other lights would have been lit. Look at, you can see in that light right there. And in this one here, this one here, it all looks like it's the same type of pattern, this one here. But in these ones that are, you know, on the outer band, these had a longer outage, you can see. There's a, a larger blank space there where they were put out. They Obviously, these are supposed to be the lights in the sky, the stars, right? And something happened back on the tent that put them out. Some of them disrupted them. Or at least blocked the energy and the light that we would normally see from it for a short period of time. And now I don't, I couldn't tell you how long it would have been that they would have been, you know, blacked out. But I can say the time-lapse video itself, the span would be 150 minutes, two and a half hours. So I suppose I could go through and I could break this whole band of light here down into like 150 sections and then, you know, come up with an exact time, like minute-wise or second-wise at how long this light here, this particular light trail would have been blacked out. Something blacked them out for a short period of time back on the 10th. So, and as far as this, you know, pulsing going on that, that it captured back on the 3rd and on the 5th. I would dare say that came from heart. I would dare say that's a heart signature, that that's showing the frequencies being beamed from the heart facility in Alaska. And I think it's curious they would have put out so many warnings um, to the public about possible outages and disruptions in our communications and stuff like that. And then the camera captures what, what would appear to be these stars blinking out over a period of time. So... Just wanted to share that with y'all. I don't think that there's any coincidences. And I'm I'm just not quite so convinced that these recent auroras and stuff that we are seeing is something that's coming from the sun and that the sun is necessarily a big threat, like they say. Um, that's just my opinion and my view. And I've uploaded a video that I'm premiering um in a few hours that I'm gonna try to watch at the same time that it's premiering and try to, you know, chit chat if possible. The last time I premiered a video, I could see um the live chat going on on the Apple TV. And when I tried to pull up the video on my phone and interact with the live chat on my phone, it wasn't giving me the option to use the live chat on my phone. It was only giving me the option to, to use the comment section, which wasn't showing me the live chat. So this time I'm going to try to watch it on my laptop so that I can have a comment uh, you know, option and interact. So the video that I premiered with the news, why won't the news offer all information on Aurora's? Um, when that premieres, I'll try to watch it with anybody that's watching, if anybody is watching. So if you make comments, I'll try to reply to the comments. So... Anyway, it's just my opinion, just my viewpoint, but I think maybe possibly some of this activity is associated with that facility right there. And probably several others, because there's several other ones all along this northern area of our planet, folks. Just saying. 
I wish they'd stop throwing the sun under the bus, right? But I suppose if they make it seem dangerous enough, then they could follow through with all their SRM plans and all their solar radiation management investments wouldn't just go to waste, huh? Ugh, just saying. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you tune into the premiere in a few hours. I'll try to watch with y'all and uh, stay safe and mindful. Know that I appreciate you and that you matter very much to me.